in this episode. Today we are saying goodbye to the beautiful Riyadh Elegancia. Off to Agadir. Bye bye, Marrakesh. Kushi kushi. So sad. I'm gonna miss this place. On to some new adventures now. It's Hagazut and Hagadir. Maybe I'll get Emily on a surfboard. No. Maybe I'll get Emily on the bat on the the back of a camel. No. Maybe I'll get Emily on the quad bike. No. The bus is leaving in five minutes. We really needed that stress. It was perfect. Also, thanks for taking me to the right uh, bus station. You know, the one that I meticulously took time to research. I'll fill you in later. Yeah. We may have nearly missed our bus, but at least I still had time to try out my first squatty potty. We are saying goodbye to Marrakesh for a few days as we head south to a beautiful beach town. A three hour bus ride through the high Atlas Mountains will take us to the city of Agadir and then a 30 minute taxi north to Tagazoo. Take a train ride just to see you. Ride for hours just to please you. You don't know how much I need you. Cause you're my home. Very happy. Yeah. Very happy to see this change of pace. Yeah. And it feels a little less touristy, you know? Far away from the chaos of the of Marrakesh city. But now we are at peace because we are in the middle of a nice ocean city. So. Oh, by the way, I really recommend taking the bus from Marrakesh to Agadir or yeah. where, wherever you want to go. But you'll come across like a bunch of different scenery that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. And yeah. it's it was really worth it. Yeah, it was. I wish I could see more of Morocco rather than just, you know, Agadir, Tagazut, and Marrakesh, but we'll have to come back. We'll have to come back. I was up at sunrise every morning not by choice, but because my back hurts so bad from our Airbnb's wonky bed frame. But my early mornings ended up being one of my favorite parts of the day. It was so calm and peaceful with the sounds of crashing waves and the crisp ocean breeze on my face. I got to watch the fishermen take their blue wooden boats out to sea, navigating over the breaking waves, something I might have missed had I not been awake. When they return with their catch, they sell it to the locals at a stand on the beach. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy, go, buddy, go! Yep. Yeah, buddy! Oh. Oh. So close. All right, shall we? Yeah. If you find yourself in Tagazoo, you have to try the Teapot Cafe. I'm still dreaming about those pancakes. Banana, almond argan butter, and granola on a pancake is game changing. Yeah, yeah I can't, I can't. <laughs> After filling up on some brekkie, we headed out to explore the small surf town and all its furry friends. <laughs> The chill vibes in Tagazoot were a nice change in pace from the chaos of Marrakesh. Hello! Hi! The locals were so welcoming and seemed to have all the time in the world to really enjoy life. 
What are we doing? Bud biking. Jonathan, if she comes um, back um, in the um. least feeling bad, I'm going to make a big face to you all night. Trust me, she's going to actually have fun. We go on the, on the side of the beach. It's on the beach? Yeah. Okay, that's fine, as long as it's not dunes. I was so nervous and couldn't believe Jonathan had convinced me to do this, especially after our mountain biking experience and our France vlogs. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness there's flat road. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, this is nice. Oh, gosh. Oh. We're in for a ride. You're going to be fine. You're going to be 100% fine, Emily. But I actually ended up having so much fun. I wasn't able to film much because I didn't bring the GoPro, but we drove around the valley and along the beach, past goats and even a big herd of camels. They all do it twice. Do you melange? Mix it. You two men two melange two fois. Yeah. And why do you love them? Because they're grand mère. For that. The bulls, là? Oui, oui. How do you say? Bismillah. Bismillah. Right. Cheers. Please cheers. So we said the reason that they pour it so high is to get the bubbles on top. It has a little bit of uh, bubbly foam. So they have two different answers. Just because people did it or because of the foam. What do you think of quad biking? Very fun. Can you get up and show the aftermath? I can draw a heart. <laughs> I was trying to preserve this shirt because I love it so much, but... Good job, baby. Now it's covered in dirt. I didn't think it through. I'd never been quad biking. I didn't really... So, your first it. impressions of the quad biking? Took a little while to get used to, but I like it much better than mountain biking. And if you missed that video, it's back in our France vlogs, and I did not want any of it. <laughs> we'll do this for fun, so... Would you quad bike again? I would quad bike again. I wouldn't mountain bike, unless I had to. The things you put me through. I thought I was gonna puke before we started. Jonathan, I was having like a, like a, I don't know if it was anxiety or what, because I saw that big, big road and I thought we were gonna have to cross it. what do you think? Quad biking? Yeah. It was fun. I wish there was more uh, chances to like really accelerate. Just because I'm a, you know, I'm an adrenaline junkie. It's probably because I was in front of you for most of the beginning and I was going so slow. You were, no, you were going as slow as the, the guide was letting us, you know? And then at the last bit, I wish we had it on film, but we crossed uh, the camels. bridge, like under the bridge, and there was oh, yeah. like, a bunch of camels. Yeah, it was fun. It's, it's fun. And I'm glad that you're having more fun than you thought you were, you were going to have. You know? <laughs> we decided to end our day with a quick trip to the Souk of Agadir. Our taxi driver was so funny. He told us to sing this song with him to encourage the car to be able to make it up the hill. You're really jamming up that one. Which is not yeah, quite what you want to hear when the car has no seatbelts. I'm driving in my car, the road is long and full of dust. 
The landscape changes around me On and on I feel I'm lost Whatever happened to me Happened for my highest good I read that in so many books Now it's almost understood I'm moving on Watch the sunset one last time over the ocean. For dinner, we had a feast of fresh caught fish at a local restaurant, Bon Bouffe, and then took one last petite balade on the beach. Jonathan said no one cares about my shooting star story, but I think I'm gonna say it because the other night we saw the most incredible shooting star I've ever seen. It went straight across the horizon. It was a solid like three, four seconds long. I've never seen a shooting star like this. Normally they're up really high in the sky and it's normally just a white dash. I just knocked myself with my flip flop. It's normally just a quick white dash. This one glowed green and it like fizzled out in the end. It was incredible. Why was it green? Apparently, I was looking it up because I was awake at 4 a.m. this morning, just not able to sleep. Long story. And apparently it's because it's either high in, I thought the dog was peeing on me. It's either high in copper or magnesium. Sorry, there are a bunch of stray dogs Bless on the, the beach dog. and we just saw him peeing on a wetsuit when we came in, so I was just afraid he was blessing my foot. Anyway, let's continue our night walk. Yeah? Yeah. Well, should we say good night? Good night. And back to Marrakesh tomorrow. Bye. Bye. In the next episode. Give me